I'm so you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen get annoyed with your family sometimes. For these reasons why. You always keep saying you're repeating yourself. And you keep saying the same thing over and over again. Which most people don't. Do you know the reasons why they're saying that? It's because they don't want to listen to the conversation. They don't want to know so they think ah. Oh, I'll just say that he's repeating himself. And that way I don't have to continue the conversation or join in. <clears throat> you know, you see what I'm trying to say to you? <clears throat> and all you're trying to do is put your point across. All you're trying to do is be helpful and respectful. But the thing is, they can't see it the same way you can. So they take offence to everything. I don't like it when people take offence to things. I'm sure you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen don't either. I and mean, it must frustrate you a lot. I and mean, you must get very annoyed. People are what they are. Why can't people accept that? And you get people who are thinking to themselves, well, if people are what they are, why can't I be what I am? We're all different in this world, we're individuals, why can't people see that? They just can't, can they? And they think, oh well, because I can't understand the person, I don't want to try and understand or try and help a person to understand or make conversation. I'll just make up a, a silly story like he's repeating himself or he's gone do lally, he's gone crazy, he's gone mad. That's what some people do. It makes They think it makes them feel better and credits them to themselves and they do it to you. But the thing is, they don't do it to anybody else. They're just doing it to just you. Because they think they can get away with it. They think, this guy's stupid when he's not. Well, saying that, there's clever people that do probably repeat themselves and they don't understand that. It's like friends and family. You need to pick the right ones. You know, Your real friends won't judge you for who you are. And uh, it's just with family. Family can be funny. They can be up and down. They can judge you. They can drag you down. You, you're always thinking and hoping for the best for your family, but they're always trying to make you feel bad all the time. I understand that, and uh, they don't understand what you want. It's like when your both brains clash together, what do you want? You know what I mean? You try and please them and make them happy, and they just keep uh, dragging you down. And you try and distance yourself from your family, and they just won't leave you alone. You try and make them happy, and everything you do, if you try and please them. It just isn't enough for them to just keep going on at you, non-stop, upsetting you for no reason. You wonder why is it my fault or their fault? It's their fault they're doing it. They're doing it because they get a kick out of it. But they don't. if the table's turned, they won't like it at all. I'm well aware of what's going on and what my family are doing to me and playing silly mind games of me and thinking I'm stupid. Let them carry on. But I know the real truth out there and hope you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen understand it too mustn't be easy for a lot of us we don't go around playing mind games with people and making people do like in crazy some people that's how they get off unfortunately but it's wrong i know but not everyone's like that in the world as you can tell there's nicer people that will help you there's people there's some people that will use you and rob you and beat you and say horrible things to you in the world there's loads of them people but your real friends are always back you and uh sometimes family can just be jealous of you you're accomplishing something and achieving something in your life and they want it as well but they can't get it because they're looking at you thinking ah he's getting all the attention he's getting all the um people like him why can't i so they're all, they're by themselves in that lonely little bubble and they wonder why they've got no friends they're the ones who's distancing their friends away not you they're the problem not you and they make up stories about you saying you're the problem you made this family split up and all this. I mean, you've probably had it before, guys and girls, ladies and boys and girls. You're not the problem. They just don't understand or see what's in front of them and don't understand what's in there. You try and have conversations with these sort of people, you can't. You can't reason with them, you can't talk to them. It's like they choose who they want to be friends with and uh, talk to normally, but they can't do that. <clears throat> so they upset you instead, thinking you're stupid and you don't know anything. Which they're completely wrong. There's just lots of clever people in the world that people don't understand and realise. Just because you've got a badge on, or you work in NHS, or you've got a job, and some people don't have jobs, you don't think we're just clever enough. Well, some people have been around the block a lot of times. If that makes any sense, and what I'm trying to say in this video. It just frustrates you, and uh, it probably will get more frustrating. Some people move away from these people, get away from your family, 
and cut ties with them. What, what would your choice be, guys and girls? We stay with them and try and build bridges or cut ties. Well, things may get worse. But like I say, it is what it is. You've got to make that right choice. I better go. Thank you for all joining me. Talk what you think about the video. Am I right or am I wrong? The only crazy people that are there is them. They've got problems of their own, so they think upsetting other people makes them feel better. And trying to make them as much, much messed up as they are. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Take it easy. See you next one. Peace. Uh.